So let's look at the layers of the skin. This is also called the cutaneous membrane, right? So a membrane is more than one tissue type, a tissue membrane um, made up of tissues. And the cutaneous membrane is the type of membrane that makes up the skin. So again, skin is an organ, the integumentary system um, is made up of the skin and many other structures we talked about briefly. And the skin is one of the organs, the largest organ in the body made up of multiple tissue types, primarily connective and epithelial, various types. Also nerves and muscles though. So really all four tissue types are a part of the skin. So in this video, I wanna go through the layers of the skin um, overall, the various tissue types. In the next video, I will go into the epidermis more in detail. So that's the first layer. The first layer is the epidermis, the top layer. Remember, epithelial tissue is, faces the outside of the body. Um, so this is an example of that. This is made up of stratified squamous epithelium, a special type I'll talk more about in the next video. So um, I find it useful, and I hope you do too, to draw these layers, draw them out yourself. You will in lab, but um, here I'm not going to draw one that's like very good, <laughs> but just to get, you know, a first um, look at these, these layers, epidermis. Underneath the epidermis, we've got a couple different layers of connective tissue. So basically here and here are two different types of connective tissue um, that also have names for their layers. So this top one just below the epidermis is the papillary layer. This is made up of areolar tissue. And then below that is called the reticular layer. This is made up of dense, irregular tissue. And these two layers are both connective tissues. Remember that epithelium doesn't have blood vessels. Um, so it doesn't have a way to be vascular to, to receive nutrients. So these two layers, you can even see it in this picture, these contain highly vascularized um, blood vessels, nerves, collagen fibers, um, and some elastic fibers. So collagen is the main tissue type of particularly dense irregular, and that's designed to stretch in multiple directions. So if you, it, this, your skin is stretchy in multiple directions, that's in contrast to tendons, which are dense regular, designed to stretch in one direction only. So a protective layer in terms of like resistance to force, um, these layers are also providing nutrients, contain nerves, for the epithelium. The epithelium itself um, has those, is also involved in protection in terms of all the layers, stratified squamous, and I'll come back to it a bit in the next video. So this next layer um, is all connective. But I'm gonna divide it up into papillary, in particular, just like I have to the left. Now, those three layers, three tissue types, um, three main tissue types in reality, but also contain things like blood vessels, nerves, sweat glands are embedded in the reticular layer, especially. Those are the, the skin. Um, I should label one more thing here. So these two connective tissue layers are called the dermis. The epidermis is on top of the dermis. So this is the skin. There's one more layer drawn here is actually below the skin. Below the skin is hypo to the dermis. Hypodermis, what do you think this stuff is? Adipose tissue, which is fat. You will also see this called the subcutaneous layer because it's underneath, hypo means below, sub means underneath. They're synonymous in this situation. Um, below 
the dermis is the adipose tissue. So this is technically not part of the skin. Adipose tissue, as you have seen, is underneath a lot of different organs that connects then and, and insulates and, and connects that organ to the structures around it. So it's around the trachea, esophagus, um, et cetera. So that, those are the layers um, and a little bit about their, their functions. I do want to show you one more picture of this. This is a histology slide that you will see in lab. So what the tissue looks like when stained with H and E, right? The stain that we see. Um, so starting to get used to looking at this view because we don't actually see it look like this, this kind of, kind of schematic-y drawing. So the epidermis is all this stuff here. Again, we'll talk about those different layers. You can see how different they look there. The dermis is made up of the papillary layer. And what do I have that about right? So it's hard to distinguish exactly where the line is between the papillary layer and the reticular, reticular layer. I'm not going to ask you to find that dividing point. You can try to look though, kind of see what the differences are. They're both connective tissues. They both contain collagen fibers. So it's kind of a spectrum of, of changing tissue type. You'll zoom into their lab. And then here, hypodermis. So this view is only 40X, right? So if you go in further, we can look at these layers more in detail, look at the papillary versus reticular layer more in detail, um, also see sweat glands in there. Um, so we will do that in lab. All right, so the next video, I will dive in, zoom into the epidermis, and we'll talk more about those layers.